Hey folks, it's Murray here. I'm going to be showing today how the Mira 9S camera works and how I use it. So to bring up the camera window, what we need to do is right click on the red bar that says cuts and layers. Or you can go up to window and there's a camera option up there. By clicking and dragging on the camera window, you can drag it out and then you can make it bigger so you can see it easier. By clicking on the update overlay button in the left top corner, you can see it creates the accurate image of the laser bed on the work area within Lightburn. There's a few different options within here now. We can use fade to fade the image, show to show or hide the image, and then we have the adjustment panel for left, right, up, down, um, auto exposure and auto brightness. To pop that window back in, you just hover over until it goes blue. I'm now going to demonstrate how I use the camera to position my art on work pieces. So using a simple slate coaster, we just position our bed and then press update overlay. That displays the image of the coaster on our work area within Lightburn. Once we've done that, we can zoom in, then import the chosen graphics that we want to use for this piece. Once we've got the art piece imported, we can just use the centre node to drag it across and position it right where we want it. Then I like to double check the positioning by using the laser set tool that's found on the toolbar on the left hand side. Click roughly in the middle of the image and the laser head will move there and you can see the little red dot appear in the middle. Now by using the auto focus button on the laser we bring the workpiece into focus. Before starting the job I just like to add a little extra wee step which is framing it off just guarantees the job's going to engrave where we want it to go. Close the lid over then and then press start. With that done you can see it's pretty much bang on in the centre. Next I'm going to show you the exact same process but engraving something slightly more awkward, um, a little rock. So for this I actually turned off the auto exposure which made the image a little darker. Makes it easier for to see where we're working. So by dragging on that corner I'm just adjusting the size and then we'll use the centre node to position it to where we want. So now what I'm doing is lowering the bed height so that I know the laser head's not going to crash into the rock when I pull it across. Again, press the auto focus button to bring the laser and workpiece into focus. So for engraving this rock, I decided to go with 50% power and 50mm a second speed, just so I had a nice deep engraving. Hit the frame button just to double check and then press start.
I have to say I'm loving the 80 watt laser tube that's available on the 9S um, from Aeon. It's making easy work of everything that I've thrown at it so far. I hope that this video has really helped you see how you can use the camera system that comes as standard in the Redline Mira S range. If you want to see more of the cool awesome features that are in the Mira 9S, stick about, maybe subscribe and I'll see you next time.